what we're going to do now. Oh, wait, we forgot to do the shadow. We're now we're going to do all the shadows, just the outlines, because we did the, the shadow for this handle, but we didn't do this shadow down here. We also didn't do this shadow for the blade. Now we're going to do the shadow for this part right there. And let's do the inside. So for the inside of the handle, same thing. There's two shadows, right? There's a really dark one and there's a really light one. So that really dark one hugs that inside thickness. And then the really light one comes out of here. And then it touches or meets up with the other shadow. Okay. So you guys see all these lines? Try not to get too confused with these. All those lines are present in that pair of scissors. A common thing that people will do is just they'll draw the outline of the handle, right? And they'll do this, and then they'll do the loop, and then they'll do another line and say, there's the thickness. Now compare this to what we're currently drawing. Obviously the one we're currently drawing is way more accurate than doing this, right? Okay, so the outside shadows that are on the paper, the shadows are super important just as the object. The shadows are what's gonna make your drawing look like it's sitting on top of the surface, in this case being the paper. So for the shadow for this blade, right, it comes down and it just follows the outline of our object. And then it meets up in here. Okay. And now the next shadow is this one up here. And that one is, see that right here? There's a divot that goes here, comes down, and this way along the handle and then it touches or goes to the bump an outline around the bump and then it meets up with the other side of the handle okay sometimes people will get confused between the shadows and the thickness of the objects be mindful of that okay so we did the line drawing and we just finished doing the shadows, right? The next step and the last step before we start shading are the values. So I'm gonna put here numbers. Okay, and this is tough because our object is not black and white. This hand, the handles are blue. Right, there's a dark blue and there's some light blues. And people will have a hard time seeing these. And so what I like to do is I'll take a picture um, with my phone, like this one. And then I'll turn it into black and white. So I can see those values or those changes between light and dark easily. So remember, these are the values we're talking about, right? The zero through six. So if you're having a hard time seeing what's darker and what's lighter, just do yourself a favor and um, take a picture of it. So you can see it a little better and switch it into black and white, right? When you take a picture of it though, you need to make sure that you take a picture at the same angle that you're looking at it. All right, now let's go ahead and number. And so what I'm talking about in terms of number, here's what it, it's going to look like at the end. See all these numbers? All these numbers are referring to these that we've been talking about, the zero through six, right? Okay, so let's start with, actually, what's the darkest part of our drawing compared to the scissors? What do you guys think? The handle, which part? Around the right over here? Yeah, I agree. 
that part is pretty dark. And that's the thickness of the handle in there. So yes, that would you say that's a five or a six out of seven? Both. Let's go with, I would say the thickness is a six and the shadow, we make it a five. Draw these in or write these in super light. Okay. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little better. Okay. So now what we're going to do is every single shade or space that we have, we're going to number it. That way when we start to shade, we know exactly what number it is. It has to be in order to shade it. Okay, what about this part of the shadow? Is this darker or lighter than this five? Lighter, right? What number would you say? What's that? One? It's close to a one. Yeah, I'd say closer to maybe a two in there. Okay. So this is a two, five, six. Now the handle itself, the top part of the handle. Does it have one value or multiples? Multiples, right? Is it darker here or darker here? Bottom or top, darker? Bottom. Bottom is closer to this six. Maybe let's go with a five. If you make it a six, it'll look like it's just the, the thickness of the, of the handle. So five to a what would you guys say? Yeah, four is a good call. So four. So this long, this edge here or on this side is like a four, right? And even over here, you almost get like a highlight right in there, right? So that's like a three at the very edge. And then same thing, five along this edge. It's almost like this line or right next to this line is a five all the way around. And then the top edge changes a little bit. What do you guys think up here is? What number? That's actually here, which is there. What number do you think that is? A what? A three? Yeah, I think that's a good, good number. So this is like a three. And then if you look up here, right in there, ooh, this is wider than it is on my drawing. So I'm gonna make it a little wider. And does this get darker in here or lighter? than the three darker yeah so this is what number what number do you guys think five or six um maybe yeah i'd say five right and then you guys notice how this little spot is a little lighter than say here or there so this is like a four what do you guys think this section is here? Ah, yeah, let's go like a five, maybe even a six. Oh, here's a good idea. What's darker, this part of the handle or the metal? The handle's darker, so let's make that a six, okay? Which means the metal part here should be lighter than the six, right? So let's make this uh, five, right? Now, this knob is going to be the hardest thing to shade because it has a lot of different values. It has the brightest part or section of our whole drawing, right? Because it's reflective. It's a shiny, right? So it has a zero, and then goes, what would you guys say this is down here? Three or four? Let's say closer to, let's go three and three slash four. Okay. So you're going from zero to three to four in this small area, small space. Okay. All right. What do you guys think about the rest of the blade over here? What number is this? Five, five or four, yeah. 
I'd say five here. And can you guys tell that it gets a little lighter? Just a little bit right in there. Actually, no, it gets lighter here too. See that? Because the numbers keep going or these dashes keep going. But you can't see it because it gets a little longer or darker. So this down here right by where the knob is at, let's go with like a four. Okay, and then over here, continue five. And then at the very edge, it gets to a three. Okay. All right, shadow. What's this shadow going to be? What do you guys think? Three, yeah. I'd say three is a good call. Uh, this shadow here. Oops, sorry. You guys can't see it. This one, sorry. This shadow here. My bad. Two or three, yeah, I agree. Uh, maybe I would say this shadow is darker than this one, so let's go with like a two. All right, um, the thickness of the handle, this part of the handle, what is this? Is it lighter or darker than the top? I would say lit, just, oh, on the screen it looks darker. Uh, let's go five, six, five slash six. And we'll do that all the way around, five slash six, okay? What about this part right here, the top portion of the handle? Is it the same? Is it like a five, like the other top of the handle is? Or is it lighter? What do you guys think? Is this section the same darkness as this part with the five? Or is it lighter? Dark, you think darker? Okay. Let's go, yeah, let's go with a six. That means that the thickness of our handle should be closer to a five or else it's gonna look the same. Okay, all right. The shadow for the bottom here, handle, is this shadow darker or lighter than the shadow where the blade is at? Yeah, it's darker, so then let's do a four along this. Keep in mind, we're doing this so that I show you can see the same values that I'm looking at. Because when you're drawing, you should be able to see these. Um, obviously, the more you shade, the less you'll have to do this these number things. Think about when you guys do puzzles. Sometimes, like when you were a little kid and it had numbers that coincided with uh, colors, same thing. It's like what they call paint by numbers. This is draw by numbers, except we're only using pencil. Okay. Um, oh, you know what we forgot? This line. Can you guys see this? Uh, you can barely see that line on the screen, but it's there and it starts from here and it goes this way. Whoops. Like that. So this section here, what number? What number? Six. Six closer up top, five down here. Okay. And then this part of the handle here, what number? Is this the same as up here? No, is it lighter or darker for you? Yeah, it's a little lighter. So let's go four. Four at the bottom edge of the handle. And then we'll do three at the top edge because it gets lighter. Okay. And 
then in here. All right, the inside thickness right in here. It should be darker than this. So let's go with uh, five. Five slash six. Shadow, what number? This one, this shadow right here. Yeah, I'd say four or five. Let's go with four. And then this lighter one, what number? Go with two or three, yeah. I'm gonna go with two just cause it's a little lighter. All right. Um, the rest of this bottom handle, which is this, what number? Yeah, let's go with five. And then the thickness. The thickness looks darker, huh? Let's go with six. Always compare, not just on your um, object, but on your drawing. If you make two things the same value, they're just gonna look like this one thing instead of two different things. So keep that in mind when you guys are shading, okay? We're gonna pause here because um, next class we're gonna shade all this together. So make sure that these numbers are super light and not dark. I made them dark so that you guys can see them because when we start shading next class, we're gonna, before we put the value down, we're gonna erase these numbers. Obviously, the more and more you shade, the less you have to do this or think about this because then it becomes almost like second nature, okay? All right, let me pause.